what the wife's left me for today. I got some almonds and that salad she put in the refrigerator. Peppers. Peppers, broccoli, artesian lettuce, carrots, cucumber, tomatoes. I think I'll try to make some type of peanut butter dressing for it. I made that salad dressing, kind of a Thai pad, peanut butter dressing, and my goodness, it was delicious. I ate that salad up really quick. But I'm still a little bit hungry, so I got some ha frozen frozen hash browns out, and I'm going to cook them in my wok. Have them with ketchup. Okay, everybody. Uh, just had my salad with some excellent peanut butter Thai dressing. Had some soy sauce and some vinegar and a little bit of honey and molasses. I know the honey and molasses is not good, so we're going to try to put dates or raisins in it next time. But I uh, feel like going out for a walk. I got my selfie stick. But um, I'm probably going to use my phone to listen to music. Because I just downloaded the remix to Cruise by Florida Georgia Line. And uh, we're going to go out. I think it's hot. So we'll see how long it lasts. Hello. <laughs> I just got back from a little over a mile walk. Probably walked for 30 minutes or so. And it was pretty good. I needed it to get my blood sugar down. Because my blood sugar's been going up. And when I walk, it really makes a difference. So, um, I walked, listened to my music, didn't carry my selfie stick. My brand new toy selfie stick. Excuse me while I just recline here in my recliner. And be me. <laughs> and, uh, just my salad was fantastic with that dressing, that... Thai pad dressing. I just got to find out how to make it sweet without molasses or honey. But those are supposed to be some of the less processed uh, foods. So maybe they're okay for the time being. But um, we'll put raisins or dates in it next time. Need to get a little small blender for it. But the salad was good. I had some hash browns. I enjoyed walk, uh, watching a YouTube channel. Oh, I can't think what he uh, something vegan something like lonely vegan or something <laughs> nice guy i think from canada taking a walk and talking about how happy he was to be alive and how great it was to be a live being and that we're eternal and started me thinking about eternity you know um, this shows about this channel is about eating healthy and living as long as you can, but it's also about eternity. Let me get my selfie stick where I like it. How about that? Okay. So it's about eternity and what that means. Are you prepared for eternity? As Christians, we believe in heaven and hell. You don't hear much talk about hell. You don't hear much talk about heaven you you know most of the sermons and things today are about loving your neighbor getting along being devoted to christ but you know if your eternity is not secure then nothing is secure i just one of my boy's friends just died from a drug overdose a couple of weeks ago and i hope he was prepared for eternity uh, drugs can mess you up. If you're a partier or or, or um, whatever, wildlife, living the wildlife, you know, eternity can come even for people who who try to live a safe life. You never know when it's time to to go. You know, we eat. I try to eat so uh, my I won't get a heart attack or a stroke or diabetes or anything like that. I work hard for that, but Jesus worked hard for our eternity. You've got to be prepared for 
eternity. Jesus died on the cross to pay for our sins. Like the sacrificial lamb in the Old Testament and the way the Jews did, the, the sins were put on the lamb and it was sacrificed and, and, and bled and was burnt as a sacrifice in the temple courtyard. And that's what happened with Christ. We're all sinners. No matter how good you are, if you're a um, compassionate vegan and you don't want any animals hurt and you don't want anybody hurt, you're still a sinner. Everybody's a sinner. Everybody's fallen from the grace of God. So you need the Lord Jesus in your life. He said, whosoever believeth in him would not perish. If you believe in Jesus Christ as the Son of God and confess your sins and ask him to come into your life, you will be saved. So... Please remember that. That's what life is all about. It doesn't matter if your friends think you're great or fantastic, you have a fantastic job. If you don't have Jesus, you don't have anything. And we are now coming in a time where Christ, Christ's church and Christians are coming under attack. Churches may be forced to go under if the Supreme Court rules that gay marriage is a... Is a is a right and you're being discriminatory because you don't perform gay marriages in your church and you can be fine i mean we're that point now i'm not hating gays or anything i have gay friends and and if they want to get married in a church somewhere that believes that i don't think there should be a law against it but i don't think bakers and everybody else and christians should be forced to say yeah you're married that's a good marriage and that's what the lord intended that's not what marriage is to a christian but god loves you god loves us everyone he doesn't want to condemn anybody but you've got to confess him you got to confess your sins and ask him into your life or you're going to hell simple as that and i pray that you see god's wisdom let god's spirit come into you and I don't want to get too preachy or anything like that, but that guy was talking about eternity and what matters. And life matters. Eternity matters. Your eternal life matters. So get that straight. Okay. So this is going to be a long video, I guess, for today. I'm liking my new selfie stick. I hope it's not too wobbly. But uh, you see, I got to take my garbage out. Whoops. Well, I'm going to be mad at that. We'll go over here. Here we go. How about that? That's better. But, so we walked. We ate healthy, plant-based, uh, whole foods. Um, I had some more of that apple crisp this morning. wasn't that great. Leftovers need to be done more. It's kind of mushy. I wasn't that hungry. It's not that it wasn't that great. It was um i wasn't that hungry for some reason so but i did have my hash browns and watch the new mcdougall expo or, or whatever his convention or class it just came out it's about 20 minutes long or so it's a long one but the last 10 minutes show what you should eat and he talked about eating mashed potatoes and peas and carrots with gravy his brown gravy which is vegan and low fat and uh, we're going to do that this Saturday, the wife says. So, what, today's Friday, so that'll be tomorrow. Love your mothers. Happy Mother's Day. My mother's name is Josephine. And Mama Josephine, you were great. Great mom. Thanks for keeping me alive and loving me and uh, raising me up. And I got you two grandchildren and one great-grandchild. So, uh, happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Uh and keep it pro-life you know babies in the womb need their mothers just as much as out so if you're pregnant and watching this love your baby don't abort it don't kill it this is eat for jesus rick i love you jesus loves you roll tide um if you like my channel subscribe don't forget to like this video if you like it and i can't wait till football season <laughs> Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.